So Julie, um, so obviously recently, uh, mid-April, um, Malcolm Turnbull, so the, the Australian Premier, uh, announced the abolition of the 457 visa. It's pretty topical at the at the moment. So maybe can you tell us about you know what was the 457 visa and you know what what this announcement means? Yes. So 457 visa was a temporary working visa and employees uh, needed to be supported by their employer to be sponsored. That was a, the, usually the term used. Um, and y this visa was valid up to four years and usually after two years with the same employer and on the same occupation, um, applicants were eligible for permanent residency or PR. Uh, but since mid-April and the uh, big announcement of the Prime Minister, um, it's no longer available. So the 457 visa still exists and will be abolished in March next year, March 2018. And it will be replaced by two types of visa. We don't have the full name as yet, but that would be like a, a medium, uh, medium term visa and a short term visa. So it would depend on the occupation uh, you, are, you are doing and if your occupation is on one of those lists. So there is quite difficult um, pronouncing <laughs> list now. Uh, one is MLTSSL, so it's the medium uh, to long term list, and the other one is the STSOL for the short term um, skilled occupation list. So basically, if your occupation is on the short term list, uh, you would be able to have a two years visa that can be renewed once, but that would not give you an uh, option to have permanent residency afterwards. And if your occupation is on this medium list, then you will have you would be able to have a four years visa and after three years and not two with the same employer you would be able to ask for permanent residency and those lists before they had other names but before the lists the eligible occupation lists were reviewed every year and with the new system they will now be reviewed every six months so which means that you would be um unless until you have like a proper uh, visa for four years or your permanent residency I would say, unfortunately, you're always a bit at risk if your uh, occupation change list uh, from a, a, a period to another. Um, so it, it, it could be, it, at the moment, it can complicate things a bit, but um, there is still some gray, gray areas and the immigration didn't give full um, information on everything as yet. For example, for people who are currently on those visas, and what would be the impact for them if they would have been eligible for those two years in permanent residency after March 2018. So at the moment, everybody is still eligible for this kind of visa, but then it, it depends if you would be able to have a long-term or a short-term uh, visa. It, it, it's going to go like uh, in progression. So the first step was, of course, the big announcement in April um, this year when they changed uh, some occupation. Some occupation has been removed from the list. That means some occupation are not eligible anymore to get a visa, a working visa. And the next big changes will be in July, on the 1st of July, where uh, from now people would have to provide police check uh, on top of everything else they have to provide at the moment, which are their qualification, uh, proof of previous employment, um, an health insurance, an English test, um, and so on, and, and, so, and now the police checks. And on the 1st of July also for people who are eligible for permanent residency after two years on their current 457 visa, their English level uh, is going to be higher. Then that's uh, 1st of July, then the next step will be 1st of uh, December when people when they apply for 457 visa would also need on top of um, everything else to provide their uh, TFN number, which are their tax file number for Australia. Uh, because even if ATO, which is a tax department and immigration department, already have files that uh, talk together, they just want to make sure that they have the correct uh, person number when they want to check the uh, information from ATO. That's 1st of December and then uh, March next year, so a year after the big announcement, uh, a year anniversary, 
457 will not exist anymore. Uh, probably the name will change or they will keep the name and have two streams. But at this stage, you will have two types of visa. So one will be a short term visa with two years visa that can be renewed once, so four years maximum, or a medium term visa, which will be for four years. And after three years, you will be eligible for PR with your employer. I can still apply for a 457 visa until March next year. So maybe just to recap a little bit. So for an individual to be eligible, one, I need to make sure I apply in a company that is eligible. Yes. Um, two, that the, op the position I'm applying for is on the list. That's correct. And that I have the requirement that I mentioned on the list next to the ENSCO code. Um, and we will see things such as number of years of experience, degree, um, maybe level of English for that specific position, and generally police check, you know, yes. make sure that you haven't committed crime here. Yeah. And, so that's a, a new requirement, yes, from the 1st of July, if you want to apply, before it was just for permanent residency, now it will be also for those um, temporary work visa, you need to, uh, to give police check of every country you've been living for more than a year in the last 10 years. But the one year can be if you spend three times four months in that country within 10 years, that counts as a year. It doesn't have to be continuous. Thank you for your time, Julie. Thank you.